Let's talk about salsa. Salsa gardens for beginners are a great way to build your confidence gardening without making a huge financial investment. Where do you put a salsa garden? Well, number one, you could put it in the ground or you could put it in a container that would sit on your porch or your patio or somewhere else that's out of the way, but you don't want it in the ground, you put it in a container. Seeds or plants? I would start with plants. Seeds have a lot of pitfalls for beginners. So I think you should start with plants. It costs you a little more money, but you don't run into the same pitfalls that you do with seeds. Maybe get a little experience this year with a salsa garden before you try starting your own seeds. What's in salsa? You've got tomatoes, peppers, hot peppers, onions, cilantro, and a list of other things that I don't even know. What I'm gonna be growing in mine is just tomatoes, peppers, and cilantro because I don't have uh, cilantro growing anywhere else. Now I do have onions in another place. You can do onions, but you just need to get onion sets, um, little bulbs that you can plant to go with it. I'm gonna show you the container I fixed up. I'm gonna show you some other things and then we're gonna get down to planting in just a minute. So I found this old junky cooler for free. I was gonna do this garden in buckets and then I found this guy. Don't ask, it's a long story. But anyway, so I found this cooler. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna drill holes in it. I'm gonna give it a paint job and I'm gonna plant a whole salsa garden right here in this. Now, you could do this in the ground. You could do this in buckets. You could do this anywhere um, for the most part. Let's get started. It's important that there's drainage in your container. If the water can't go anywhere, you're gonna have problems. Since I bought soil for this, I had to calculate how much I needed. Thought you'd never use math. Now, I've got somebody else to explain that to you because I'm not a math teacher. Hello? Hey man, what's up? Yeah, I've got a little bit of a math problem for you. Well, I've got this garden, this salsa garden that I'm putting in. Okay, give me a second. Let me put it on speakerphone, okay? And it's in a container that's 36 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches. Your dimensions are 36 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches. We've got to find the volume of that. It says length times width times height. What you need, we're going to multiply all of those together. So we're going to say 36 times 15 times 15. Multiply all three of those together, we get 8,100. That is in cubic inches. We've got to convert that to cubic feet. We're going to multiply those three together. So we're going to say 12 cubed or 12 times 12 times 12 because that's how many inches are in a foot in cubic inches and we divide it by that 1728 and that's going to convert it to cubic feet so 8100 divided by 1728 gives us 4.69 
cubic feet. Uh, if your bags come in two cubic feet of soil, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and buy three total bags. All right, Webb? All right, buddy. So I hope that helped. All right, man, thanks, I appreciate it. Warning, you really shouldn't do this until around the first week of May. Now I'm doing a little bit earlier because this video will go out and this will give you time. Make sure you cover these at night. The tomatoes that I'm using are called Celebrity. They produce a large glossy tomato. Should be about 67 days until you have tomatoes. Now, some of that time has already passed because this plant has grown somewhat. The peppers that I'm using are called Big Bertha. They produce yields of uh, thick walled, three to four lobed fruit with excellent flavor, 72 days. So the timing of these plants should work out fairly closely. I'm gonna take my tomato plant out of the container. I'm gonna loosen it up at the bottom first. I'm not gonna reach in and pull it up by this stem. I don't wanna damage it. So I'm gonna get that to come out nicely. First, I'm gonna pull off these lower stems on a tomato. You can pull these lower stems off, get rid of those. And you can plant it a lot deeper than what it looks like initially. So I want this deep enough to cover up some of the stem. A tomato will root from the stem. So in those ex exposed stem underneath the soil will have root growth come out of it. And that'll make this plant stronger and have a deeper base. That does not work for every plant. So please don't do that with all your plants. But for tomatoes, it works. So while I was getting my pepper out, I dropped it. I'm gonna give it some space base. I'm going to plant it right here next to the camera. Bring it up a little bit. For the cilantro, I am using seeds. 70 days to harvest is what this says. So it kind of lines up fairly closely. I'm not waiting on a fruit like I would be with the tomatoes or peppers. The back, it tells me six inch spacing. I'm going to do a little bit more than that because honestly, whatever I don't need, I will pull up. A lot of people think you have to, to bury seeds really, really deep. You don't. Um, in fact, no more than one and a half times the depth on these seeds. So if I'm planting a seed and I drop that down in there, that's, there's no way that that pushes through all that soil. I'm just gonna place them just like so. You can be as generous with this as you want when you have plenty of seeds. I'm even doubling them up in some places. And what I don't need of this, I will thin. The weakest of these plants, I will thin out. I'm not worried about it. See, I just toss those seeds and just cover them up like such. I'm not trying to make a, a ceremonious burial of these seeds because if I do, I'm gonna get them too deep and they're not gonna be able to push through. They only have so much energy inside that seed to be able to push through. So that's it. That's all I did for them. Now I'm gonna put some straw over all of this because I don't want the rain doing funky things when it hit. I'm trying to mitigate the impact of raindrops on that soil. There it is guys. This is my salsa garden in an old cooler. Okay, so the straw that's in here, I just like how it makes things neat. You know, when water splashes and hits soil, you got that bouncing back up on the plant, potential of causing uh, diseases. So I just like to keep it clean, man. Straw really, I think is underrated as a gardening tool. This is not so thick that, that the growth or the germination of the cilantro won't be able to come up through. Um, I hope it works, because if not, I'm gonna look pretty silly, but I think it will. You can do onions. You just have to get that from a onion set 